Hello everybody, welcome back to our Joe's to Pros Academy SQL Server Unlocked series. I am Bali Kehel, with me here is Rick. Hey Rick, how are you doing? I'm doing good. All right. So uh, Rick, why don't you introduce yourself uh, quickly so that we can then talk, start talking about the topic. Okay, well, my name is Rick Moreland. I'm the Chief Instructor for the Joe's to Pros Academy, and I've also written some books on SQL development, SQL administration, and object-oriented programming. So in today's episode, we'll be covering expert aggregation tricks made easy. So Rick will be diving a little bit into it, and this is for everybody also, but uh, Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're about to present today? All right, well, if there's anybody who's kind of gotten the flow of basic aggregations, you know your grain. You know where to put the group by, and you get your totals and averages. You've probably discovered that people sometimes want a market share report. They want a line item comparison to the total. Now, that might sound like a high-level statement, it is, mm -hmm. But I'm going to give you a quick demonstration example of where we want to go with this. So on my screen here is a really small table. This is a list of charity grants. You know, the first amount is 4750 It's the smallest one. There's a $15,000 one. And if you see on line 7, we have a $41,000 one. Now, this is what the table looks like if you just select from the table. Ten rows, four fields. But what I want is an expression field that is aggregate savvy. It says, you know what, that 4,750 on that first line is 2.45% of all total. That's kind of like your market share report. The second one at 15,750 is 8.13%. And then this 18,000 is 9.34%. Now, when you put a group by in your grain, you can no longer get your line item totals. But here you want your line item totals compared to the grand total to get your market share. Now, the reason I know the first record is 2.45% is because the total of all of those is 193,700. Mm -hmm. So how do I get a grand total in an aggregate in a query that's not aggregated? It's a little easier than it sounds. So let's go to the uh, query example. All right. So here I have the uh, grant table that I was talking about, and it has the exact same records you saw on that uh, PowerPoint presentation. And I need to first know, well, 4,700 out of what? Out of 193,000? Out of what number is our market share? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comma up here. Now, you know if I just put an aggregate without a group by, it's going to fail. Every aggregated function needs some sort of supporting aggregated language. And almost everybody knows group by. But not everybody knows this. I'm going to put sum and then the field. Now, if I run it, it fails because okay. it says I need supporting aggregated language. Well, the other supporting aggregated language is called over. Now watch this. Now I have the totals. In this case, it looks like my total is uh, 382,000. Oh, I see, because I ran an update script and I have some larger grants in here. So this is a bigger table. This is, this is a good example because when your total changes, you want your query to be smart enough to know about that. And you do want to know what is the maximum uh, biggest you know, number down here so you can take aggregates based on that, right? Well, I could do that. Now, notice that my biggest aggregation is 41,000, okay. which still doesn't add up to 382,000 because this number is basically all of the numbers in the fourth column added together. If you were to add all of these numbers that I've highlighted in blue, what you would get is 382,000. Yeah. So I want the grand total next to it. Now, I could do a max if you want to know how far away you are from the max, or I could just do a sum. So I'm doing the sum over. Now, this is only half a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. We could sit here with a calculator and divide 4750 by 382,000 and do that for each line. But no executive is going to want to do that. And that's why they're paying us money to know what we know. Oh, nice. So let's put the other part of the equation in. Oh, first, let me clean it up and say this is the company total. Remember, I said let's always give our field, uh, n fields a name. And now, for the next line, I'm going to put the amount, which is this fourth field, divided by the sum of the amount over. Now, I'm going to call this as percent of total and run it. So this one is, in fact, 1.24%. Uh, um, now, I haven't really kept my promise because this is really 1.24%, but it says 0 0.024. Well, most people know that a percent is 100 times a ratio. So we have a ratio here. So all we have to do is multiply the ratio by 100. And there's our percent share line itemed by the aggregated total of the table. All right, this is really great. So uh, by using the OR function here, is there any alternatives people can use? Uh, is there any uh, 
inside towards over function? There is. There's some options in the over by. Like, what if I wanted to get the total of all of the national and international grants, mm -hmm. and I want to partition it? There's partition options that go in there. There's also ways to pick out particular line items to compare them. And I cover a lot more. We go really deep into the aggregations in this same simple way in the uh, volume two of the SQL Developer series on the Just Pros Academy. All right. That's really some good stuff. I think so I'm really impressed by you know, the aggregation function and also with all the experts who are watching, this is, some, this is a trick which you can use in your day-to-day -day SQL Server programming life. You know? But uh, I think so this is really neat uh, for uh, everybody who wants to give us feedback or topics for next time, do share that. Until next time, thanks for joining.